the adding of African countries into the group. Now, tell us what advantages are there for these African countries who are joining the BRICS and uh, what uh, it's the global economic advantage? Well, as you know, in terms of, of BRICS today, uh, BRICS occupies a major proportion of uh, global GDP. In terms of PPP GDP, BRICS, the current five, accounts for 31.7%. With the addition of the uh, six new members, BRICS will now account for 36%, uh, just over 36% of uh, PPP GDP. In terms of nominal GDP, we currently stand at 25%, and that will increase to 29%. In terms of global manufacturing, it will move from 20% to 25%. Now, in terms of global population, it will move from the current 42% to 46%. So close to half <clears throat> of the world population will be uh, in the BRICS configuration. In terms of foreign reserve holdings, uh, it's currently at about 35% and that will move closer to 40% of global foreign holdings, reserve holdings. So in terms of uh, global manufacturing, as I pointed out, that share also increases to 25%. So of course, these are massive markets. They are amongst the fastest growing uh, economies uh, in the world today, as you know much of uh, global growth today is being generated in Africa and Asia as the poles of growth in, in a very challenging global environment. So the new members will also be able to plug in to the already existing uh, very vibrant uh, economic opportunities that exist. Major markets, uh, as I said, 46% of the uh, global population. These are massive emerging market economies and it provides uh, fantastic opportunities uh, for all BRICS members, including the new members. And of course, in terms of energy holdings, in terms of global energy holdings, uh, with the addition of uh, UAE, uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia and Egypt uh, as energy rich countries, gas rich countries, they already will bring in a, a major additional share of, of uh, BRICS countries being the major holders of global fossil fuels. So on a number of fronts, the expansion has a positive uh, impact in terms of economic opportunities, trade opportunities, investment opportunities, technology sharing, uh, skills and capacity building amongst uh, our countries. So it provides uh, great opportunities going forward.